down to a developing story. Florida Panthers players spoke today, hours after head coach Joel Quenville resigned. He stepped down following allegations he did not investigate a report of sexual abuse when he coached the Blackhawks. CBS Sports, Sports anchor Jim uh, Mike Cunio has been following the story with what the team is saying tonight. Mike. Yeah, guys, as, as you can imagine, the team is searching for the right words. When asked about his feelings towards Joe Quenville, Aaron Eckblad admitted he's not sure of them. The team is in Detroit today with interim coach Andrew Brunette stepping in to replace Quenville. Quenville, the second winningest coach in NHL history, stepping down yesterday after a meeting with Commissioner Bettman to discuss his inaction when former Blackhawk Kyle Beach accused a coach of sexual assault back in 2010. Now the Panthers, who some believe might be the best team in the league, is trying to wrap their heads around the last 48 hours. The game's better than that, and hopefully we learn this time. And Unfortunately, it's hard, but it, uh, you know, we have to learn and, and get better as, as a group of hockey players. You know, wish the best for him and his recovery. And, uh, you know, ultimately as a leader, you like to think that nothing, uh, nothing like that could, uh, could happen to you or your team, and, and uh, it's important to stay vigilant and uh, take care of any situations uh, prudently. It's, it's sad. And like I said, it's, it's not only hockey, it's everywhere. And uh, I think, you know, it's all processing it too in my head. I think, you know, you're, we're not over everything. In a statement, Quenville said the Blackhawks failed Kyle Beach and that he owned a share of that. Meanwhile, the Panthers, who have won their first seven games of the season, take on the Red Wings later tonight at 7. Mike Cunha, CBS4 Sports.